Hey everyone, this is just a short uh, walkthrough on what happens when you go to change a password or enter a password on the command line. Uh, this is a feature that, is, that utilizes a uh, security element uh, in that you will not see what you are typing, but it is actually typing. So I'm just going to show you some examples of it actually working and how to go about changing it and what to expect when you do so. So right now I am uh, a user called Michael on a machine called Galago. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my user to a user that I've created called Test. So I'm going to switch user the name of the user that I want to switch to and it's going to ask me for a password right right now just for ease of uh, examples I'm using the password called password so I'm going to type the word password P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. You do not see actually anything being typed at the cursor. Everything is hidden. This is a security feature so that somebody who was, say, shoulder surfing wouldn't be able to see like an asterisk to guess how many uh, characters your password was or anything like that. Uh, now when I press enter, uh, I am authenticated and I uh, am, oop, I was, a, I was a failure. So let me try this again. Okay, so it's new password. Yes, there we go. All right, so I, I had actually I had done this earlier. I had used the new uh, the password of new password. Okay, and you can see now that I am a different user called test, and I'm still on the machine called Galago. All right, so I'm going to exit from that user. Okay, and now when I uh, switch that user again. I can, uh, another way I can do this is I can, if you have it in a notepad, you can right click, copy that, come back to your command line, right click again, and you can paste and then press enter and everything should work fine. Now, if you want to actually change your password, you just type the command P-A-S-S-W-D, which is short for password, and then uh, it will tell you that you're going to go through the sequence, right? So your current password, which is N-E-W-P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, right? And then you're going to type in your new password, and I'm just going to make it as the password password. So I'm going to P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Notice, again, nothing is showing up on the screen, but it is actually being typed. Uh, retype the new password. Uh, so I will type P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D again, and it has been updated successfully. So now when I exit out, and return to the original user, Michael at Galago, if I were to switch user again to the user test, if I were to type in the old password, uh, which was this, copy and paste, uh, and press enter, it's going to fail. You're going to get an error. You've got a sign-in authentication failure. So I would need to use the new password that we've created. So that just guarantee, that just shows you that we were actually successful in creating, uh, uh, changing the password. So again, we can uh, paste here, oops, sorry, uh, switch user to test, and then right click paste and we are successful, right? We'll exit out of here and just show you again. You can do it without even copying and pasting. You can just type in P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Nothing happens at the uh, prompt, but when we hit enter, it actually happens. So this is what to expect when you're using passwords or typing in passwords. Thanks.